Utility customers, listen up. A new twist on an old scam. It's looking to separate you from your money. How it works and how to protect yourself. Right here, Live at 6. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gill. Matthew Smith is on assignment tonight. Utility scammers are at it again. OPPD reporting a huge spike in customers reporting phony callers. One woman who got a call reached out to our Aaron Murray. Aaron, it sounds like this call was a little bit more convincing than most. It definitely was. The woman I spoke to, she got that call Thursday. And I'm going to play for you the number here. I'm going to hold it up to my mic so you can hear it. This is what the call sounded like. Give it a second here. Welcome to the Omaha Public Power District. You hear that? That's an automated call. So that was one thing she thought it was convincing. The second thing was that the person on the other line, he knew her address and he also knew the amount of her last three bills. Now, all those things made her think that it was a real deal OPPD person. That is until the caller made one big mistake. It was completely believable uh, until he said, you know, go to a baker's instead of an OPPD. I, I knew something was up. In this electronic world, Katie Shirazi does all her utility billing online, but a call from this phone number almost fooled her into paying a scammer. He told me that sometimes uh, funds are misallocated and that if I paid it now, I would avoid being shut off. He was waiving the $80 shut off reinstatement fee. But instead of going to Baker's though, instead Shirazi came here straight to OPPD. Yesterday alone, we fielded more than 60 reports from our customers of receiving these scam calls. Jody Baker says this is a scam they've seen before, with telling people to go to Baker's or Walmart to get a gift card. But the fact that the caller knew so much of Shirazi's personal information, that, Baker says, is new. Now that's extremely concerning. We have no idea how they would find that information out, uh, but we do know that these callers are quite sophisticated. We called the line, too. Thank you very much for calling OPPD. This is Jason Branch speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Jason. My name is Aaron Murray. I'm a reporter with WOWT 6 News in Omaha. But after introducing myself, it didn't take long um, until... Or ...calling people claiming to be an OPPD agent. <laughs> Hung up the phone. Too afraid to speak to us, but Shirazi just hopes now that others will be aware of this trick. I mean, if this guy had called somebody's grandma, it, she would have paid and not thought twice about it. Right now, if you get a call from a number like this or anybody who seems like a scam or suspicious, just hang up. That's what OPPD says. The other thing is, as you are talking to people, do not get out any personal information and don't go anywhere other than OPPD directly to make one of those payments. And unfortunately, they say this time of year, those calls might be picking up a little bit more because of the holidays. So, Aaron, I think a lot of people are wondering, now that OPPD has this scammer's number, what happens next? Actually, that's a question we just posed to them, and we're working to get those answers right now for our 630 newscast. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you for that live report tonight, Aaron.